For me, a lot of this feature has been working within limitations and working on restraint where normally I would like a lot of big fixtures and to really control a lot, I have to figure out how to do that on limited time with limited crew um, and still get the same type of image and the images that we're proud of and, and play in the movie. Limitations uh, inherently make you more creative. So if you sit there and say, um, you know, I want this to happen and these are my limitations and still are able to get through it and get something that you're happy with and proud of, that's where true creativity is. Something like that fight scene where we got a light 360 degrees with minimal changes um, was kind of tough to get my head around at first. Um, but once we started talking about it and what we could and couldn't do and, and figure out how exactly we're going to cover it through camera movement um, and blocking, it was, it was good to see that kind of pay off the way that it did. A lot of the stuff at um, Skyler's house um, on a technical level, um, we didn't have any power at the location, so we had to run off generators. And since it's a low budget feature, we don't have all the power options available to us. So it was how do we make this look good, but with a very limited um, tool set. And I thought we did that really well. I think filmmaking, the whole filmmaking process, every aspect of it is challenging. I don't think there's an easy, easy part of what we try to do. It's a miracle that a film gets made. Um, there's every every time you turn around, there's a new challenge, whether it's um, whether it's wardrobe or makeup or um, the sun's going down and you're fighting for the last you know last five minutes of sunlight to 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 make the the shots even cut or you're trying to make sense out of a, a, a certain bit of dialogue that, that, that isn't right and then trying to come up with a solution to, okay, how do, we make that, how do we make that flow? So not only do we continue to tell a story, but we can tell it in a way that, um, that makes sense and is interesting. So can we talk? I've been thinking about what you said and I changed my mind. I want to train you, Bear. Be like old times, only better. You're taking a movie, you're filming it out of sequence, you're, you're filming such small pieces and parts of the puzzle at a time that, it's, that then you have to fit together. You have to see the tree and the forest. Um, and that's really, that's uh, actually really challenging. Nash, get them out of here. I like to be able to improvise and adjust to what is working in front of you or what works in a particular room or a particular environment. There are times where, you know, an actor walks across the room a certain way and you say, that's it. You know, even though it wasn't written that way, look at what's happening right there and you have to be able to accept that might come. You know, in my mind, the story has its own mood and I'm just um, providing the accessories to that. Okay.